Jeremy, thank you. The Lamplight Theater is hosting a free screening of season four of The Chosen this week. Plus, they're preparing for their upcoming performance of The Pilgrim's Progress. Here to tell us a bit about the screening and the performance, Billy Wayne Arrington and Benjamin Valasek. And uh, thanks for both of you for joining us this morning. It's so good being here. Always. Yes, it is. All right. We'll start off telling us about The Chosen. We got a special chance to to watch season four. Right. We got word that um, we could we we could have the possibility of putting the actually the season four and play it at the theater because it's not being streamed yet. So we're very excited about the possibility of doing that. So the, they give us the first four episodes now, and then they'll send five, six, seven, and eight a little later. So this week it'll be the showings of the first four of the uh, episodes from season four. So no one's gotten to see it unless you went to the theater. <laughs> and you won't get to see it again until the fall. They won't release it. So this is a great opportunity. For people who aren't familiar with The Chosen, can you describe what it is and uh, just describe how they can come out and see it? Yeah, it's the life of Christ, basically, and done very through storytelling and the backstories of all these characters. So it's not just this flat story of just the facts, but really get to know the characters and how they were really practical. Christ, all human, but yet all God, and how he touches the lives of people. So it's an amazing show. So if you had not seen it, go watch, watch seasons one, two, and three, and then come this weekend and see Get it. ready for it. And yeah. we'll be showing on Friday night season uh, episodes one and two, then Saturday night three and four. But again, we'll repeat those again. That's just the, initially we're going to see what the reaction will be, and then if we need to repeat those, we will. And Billy, you mentioned uh, before the interview, you know, some very cool connections between some, pe some members of the Lamplight Theater and this show. Right. We have a lot of people that go out and are just in the show. One of my board of directors, uh, Susan DePew, and some of her friends, so we're going to go out. And so they're going to be in, I guess it's going into the Passion Week or the what we call the last week of, you know, Christ's uh, uh, days on the earth. And so they're there for that celebration. So I can't imagine. There, there's thousands of people on the set, from my understanding. And they all do it. You actually pay to be on it. You, you know, you contribute to the cause. And it helps. Really, it's a great way to share the message in such a unique way. And, uh, and of course, they want it free for on all streaming devices. And so in order to get that going, they have to get the funding to do that. But it's a great opportunity for people uh, to partner with like local people and they get to be a part of something way bigger than themselves and, and being able to show the greatest message of all. So. And from screening to the stage, you guys also have a performance coming up of your own. Excited about it. Uh, Pilgrim's Progress, which is a classic. Uh, we had to read it even in, in uh, like public schools. We learned about Pilgrim's Progress when I was a kid. They probably wouldn't teach it now, but that's the whole story. But uh, it's a great, great story. It's an allegorical story, a fantasy, really. And uh, tells a beautiful uh, picture of, of a man named Pilgrim or Christian, and he travels from the city of destruction by reading the book, which is the Bible, and places a burden on him. So he, he wants to be moved from where he is to his travel to the city, celestial city. And, and so all this travel along the way, you meet all these characters. It's part of our children's theater piece, too. So we have all little minions running around, and, <laughs> and we have adults as well. But it's a great, great show. And so it's got giants. It's got uh, winged creatures and the slough of despond and castle of despair. It's a great story of a traveling, really a faith journey from when you you know first become a believer to uh, you know, to, to you get to heaven. So it's a, it's a good, good show. So. Well, we always love when people come to the show dressed up as their character. And Benjamin, you're dressed <laughs> up as Pilgrim right now. So tell us a little bit what it's been like working on this show. Well, it's been a lot of fun. And being the main character has also been very, very stressful. Because <laughs> um, I think I've counted it uh, the entire show. I don't go off stage more than 10 seconds. Yeah, yeah. It's a, so, so you're the star. We get more breaks than that. <laughs> it's a great work for him because he's actually a graduating senior. And through this work, also in the things that he's worked at the theater, he's gotten uh, accepted at uh, Logos Theater at their uh, Conservatory of Acting. Wow. So that's very good. very good for him. And so, but I pushed him and pushed him. And so, <laughs> but so this is a kind of a senior show for him. So it really shows all of his abilities. And so. He's going to do a good job with that. Well, we can't wait to see both. We have all the information. Thank you, guys. We have all of it right here. The free public screening of The Chosen is happening this Friday and Saturday. The screening will begin at 7 on both nights. And the theater's production of The Pilgrim's Progress will begin on May 3rd, and that's going to run through May 26th. Shows will run Fridays and Saturdays at 7 p.m. There will also be matinees on Saturday and Sunday. For more information on how to get your tickets, you can call the theater at the number right there on your screen. We'll be right back.